For this tutorial, I wanted to show you that it's not always essential to have hundreds of different paints and brushes, and that you can create striking designs using only a couple of products. I've chosen to use a dark red colour and all I'm doing is placing a mixture of teardrops and curls around the outside edges of my eyes. The best way to build up this sort of design is to place a few larger shapes down first and then it's much easier as all you do is simply fill in any gaps. To give your design a nice flow, you want to make sure that all of your lines are headed towards the same point. You can see that all of my shapes are pointed towards the very top of my nose. Perfect teardrops can take a lot of practice, so don't panic if you don't get them right on your first go. The easiest way to paint a really sharp point is to only use the very tip of your brush and flick it outwards on the end. a few dots here and there for a bit more interest and detail. And then once I was happy with the design, I did exactly the same thing on the other side, being really careful to get it as symmetrical as possible. In the centre of my face, right above my nose, I added a smaller design to tie the two edges together and bring it in like more of a mask. I took a product called Glitter Mark, which is a very fine glitter suspended in a gel. Um, I used the really thin applicator to apply a line of silver around the design, and I made sure that I left a small gap between the glitter and the paint. The thing I love about using a glitter gel is that you can be really accurate in your application and get it exactly where you want it. Unlike when you use a loose glitter, um, if you put too much of that on, you can sometimes smother your line work and dilute your design a bit. Lastly, I took the same dark red colour that I used before and I applied it as a lipstick just to tie everything together. Although this design isn't a true tribal, I think that the softer edges and lines do work really well. And also if you're looking for something for Halloween, then you could change up the colours, put a pair of wings with it and I think you'd have a really cool fairy. 